I don't know if y'all can see this. Looks like clouds. No, that is a whole ton of smoke. There is a massive fire just down the road from us. You can see it starts all the way over here. It goes all the way over there. I think this is just smoke. The fire is actually over in this area. I drove over there. I think it's prescribed burn, but I'm also not 100% sure. Hopefully it is, because if not, somebody's in real big trouble. We're gonna keep an eye on it though, because it's basically our back pasture, another pasture, and then that's where that public land is that I think that that's where they're burning. So we're really like half a mile from it. Hopefully it doesn't jump the road and come over here, but holy cow. I don't think I've ever seen a smoke, cl a smoke cloud like this, especially this close. I literally looked outside and was like, oh my gosh, it's like super stormy. Nope, just smoke. Cannot believe it. So before we jump into today's project, we need to see LR and see how he's doing. And a lot of you guys commented, hey, you ought to try and see if the mama duck will take him. So we're going to see. If anything, you know, maybe he'll just go play with him for a little bit. Get some social interaction, which would be good for him. Mama's just over here hanging out. We let her out just barely. Let her and the baby stretch their wings. It's okay, Mama. Are you going to let him be friends with you? Go on. <laughs> Look at all these little babies. Hey, LR, did you get yourself a friend? Good boy, Ranger or girl. Oh no, you're getting picked on. Oh, this might not work. Not because of mama, but because of brother. Hey. Why are you being mean? Why are you being mean? Why are you being mean? Is it because he's yellow? You got yellow siblings too. You can be nice. Nope, he's not gonna have it. <laughs> the ducks do not know what in the heck is going on. Come here, come back here. No, come back here. All right, that's enough of that. You're getting picked on. Come here. Oh, I just wanted to give you some social interaction, but I don't know what's wrong with them. You're just a cute little puffball. That wasn't very nice. Okay, go back in your home. There you go. Well, that didn't really work. They sure weren't very accepting of him. Which is kind of a bummer. We might have to try again another time and just kind of slowly work him into it. I don't know. You guys leave a comment. Can ducks hang out with chickens? They probably would have had to be together from birth, which they obviously haven't been. So that could have been the issue. Once they're all about the same size, I'm sure they'd be fine. But the ducks are like twice the size of the chick. So that's not gonna happen right now. Let me show you guys what we're working on today. This is our laundry room. We just installed the sink and the countertop. Got to build a cabinet there still. But we are going to be installing the floor today not sure if we'll get it completely done. Oh, check this out. I also got the window sheet rocked. I'll probably get that taped and mudded today as well and then we'll get primer on it. But my main focus is gonna be this floor today. So let me show you guys the floor that we got. So this is lava rock. When we saw it at Home Depot, I wasn't sure what basalt was. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Uh, but it turns out it's actually lava rock. And this stuff is stupid expensive. Stupid expensive. Marcy's wanted it. 
or a tile like this, but all of them have been like $20 a square foot. Thankfully, this is a small area, but this area still at $20 a square foot is over a thousand dollars. And I told her, and she knew that there was absolutely no way we we're gonna do that. So we came up with plan B, which was, we're just gonna put the same flooring that we put through the rest of the house in here. It's not gonna look quite as good as we want it to look, but it was all we could afford. Well, we went to Home Depot and let me play the clip. Okay, so we're at Home Depot. We had some returns to do here. We did the returns and now we're looking in the clearance tile section and they have a tile that is like, this close, pretty dang close to what Marcy wanted for our floor. I mean, I yes. like it a little darker, but I'm honestly, for the price, not going to complain. Yeah. Yes, buddy. No, we're not going to go out there. <laughs> Maverick just wants to go outside. But let me show you guys. This is going to be for the floor in the laundry room. Marcy wants to do a herringbone pattern. So this is what it's looking like. Basically, it's instead of $19 a square foot, it's $2 a square foot. So that is like actually reasonable because I figure we probably need about 50 square feet. So you're talking $100. You're talking like literally 10% of the cost of the other one. So we were not planning on getting this at all. Yes, yeah, stairs. We were not planning on getting this at all. But for a hundred bucks to be able to do the laundry room floor and get it done, I'm like sold on it. So, because this means then we can finish the rest of the room because then we can do the baseboards, the painting, all of that. So I think regardless of whether Marcy likes it or not, we're going to do it and hope that she likes it. But can you lay in a herringbone pattern for me? I can try. I've never done it, but I can do it for you. I think that would be great. Okay. Well, I guess I'm getting the stuff to tile our laundry room floor. So not only did they have what we wanted, they literally had like five packs extra. Like three square feet more than we need. So they had ugh, guys, this is insane. Literally the exact tile that we wanted for a 10% of the cost, and they had exactly the amount we need. So hopefully we don't need any more. Hopefully I calculated it right. I think I did, and we literally have just enough. So this is super exciting. We have a heat wave in Oklahoma right now and it's so nice. Oh, Maverick's gonna love the forklift. So we returned the wire. The wire was gonna be used on our well. If you guys have been following the channel, you know the well issues that we had with our well water pump. And we didn't end up needing the wire, so I returned the wire. And that was like $140. Well, everything we need to tile the laundry room was 160 So I would say I'm pretty happy with that. Not even that, you bought batteries. Oh, I did buy batteries for $30. So that means it was about sixes, 140 and 130. That's pretty dang impressive. I am, I'm, I'm, I'm so stoked. Kendall didn't want to come today. I know, seriously. It is honestly, it's a huge blessing. So we're gonna get these kids home, get in bed. And I'll see you guys in a couple of days when I start doing the pool. As you can tell, we got a smoking, smoking deal on this stuff and they had just enough. So we're gonna start laying it out here. Marcy wants me to do a herringbone pattern, which I have never done. She's wanted me to do this in our last house and in this house. And I was like, oh, I don't really know if I want to do it. I've never done it. It's a little bit, okay, it's quite a bit more complicated than doing your regular just square like brick tile uh, layout. And so I figured we're just going to give it a try. I watched a couple YouTube videos, so we should be good to go, right? Who knows? We're going to find out. Fingers crossed that this turns out. I have to say, I'm kind of bummed that uh, the ducks did not want anything to do with that chicken. 20 inches. 20 inches. Let's go down the chuck line. Let's see if I can do this one one-handed. So that's where the bench is going to end. I was hoping that I wasn't going to have to take out the washer and dryer to do this. The dryer can probably stay, but the washer is going to have to come out, which sucks because the washer is the heavy one, the dryer is the light one. So, whew, here we go. I've decided I really don't want to take the washer out because then I have to drag it across our brand new floor to get it back in there. So we're gonna really try and push it back so that I don't have to do that. Just don't know if it's gonna work.
I have to say, that was quite the adventure. I think that's gonna do it. I'm gonna just find the center and we're gonna get after it. So I just spent like 45 minutes trying to figure out how to lay this out. You gotta get the center tile right in the center in both directions so that you have an even amount of tile on both sides where it finishes on the walls. And I think I got it. So I don't know if you guys can really see all those lines on the tile, but we basically have the center of our room going this way and the center of our room going this way. And we found the center of the pattern, which is right there. And then I drew the lines so that I could get that tile set perfectly. So that's where we start. I really, fingers crossed, hope that that's right. I honestly have no idea. I followed through the instructions from a YouTube video that I think is gonna work really good, but we won't know until we just do it. So we're just gonna do it. I had to pause to feed the babies with Mars. Hi. She's sick. I don't feel good. She don't feel good. So we're trying to get these babies fed, get the floor done, just everything. I just told her, man, this is so easy, Mars. It's awful. <laughs> you guys, it's kind of hard to do all of this at once, but we're going to try and make it through, huh? That's I'm feeding Paxson. <laughs> yeah, why? I just feel like he's not getting very much attention or patience from either one of us. Yeah, he's kind of growing up. It's hard. Supposed to be feeding this kid, but he keeps falling asleep on the job. There you go, Paxton. Nope, you're falling asleep again. Come on, bud. Wake up. Harvey's Harvey beat you. I oh, that was a big fart. It really is like a competition every time. But they always finish about the same. Yep, that's right. Wake up. I can see your eye open. Go, go, go. So this got interesting. I just helped Marcy get all the boys. They had to run to Walgreens to pick up our prescription for her and I was gonna start tiling the floor. I have it finally all laid out. I've got everything set up, got the tile saw set up, the thin set. Thankfully, I didn't mix the thin set. I went to go look for my trowel to spread the thin set, nowhere to be found. So thankfully, she's going to town, so she's gonna pick me up another one, and now I'm stuck with nothing to do. So instead of doing nothing, I'm gonna take this window off, do some of the drywall work on it and on the other window, so I at least can get a little bit of something done. When Crendel said that they burned the public land, I was like, oh, nothing like it is. Like, it's completely burned. So this whole area has been burned down to, like, a crisp. If you look at it. The entire air all around us is this, like, really dark. Remember, what is that? Say fire. I took all three kids with me to go to the pharmacy to pick up my prescription. Crandall called, said that he was missing two things for the house, and asked me to go pick them up with all three kids. Okay, Maverick fell asleep in the car. And then I get up after waiting like 20 minutes, Paxton is bawling. After waiting 20 minutes in line because I didn't want to take him into the pharmacy like waiting in the drive-thru. I get up there and they're like, oh, uh, it'll be 15 minutes. After I already got the text saying that they had filled it. So I hurried and I ran down here to Lowe's and I'm about to take all three kids in for the very first time. And to Maverick's asleep, which means he's gonna wake up grumpy. Oh no, here I go. Oh my gosh, it's been so crazy. I wish you guys could have watched what happened so I took the boys into the store Maverick because he just woke up he didn't want to walk so I had to like half carry him half hold him on the cart I get to the checkout and my debit card or like my card that I used to pay I think it's a debit card yeah my debit card has like melted a little bit so the chip doesn't work at all things like it works most of the time but sometimes it doesn't well Normally, I honestly have Crandall's wallet, so I just use his card because his card isn't messed up. But today I didn't have his card and I just used the last of my cash. And so I didn't have a way to pay. But then I remembered we have gift cards to Lowe's in the truck, 
but I have all the boys and the stuff. I'm like looking at the lady, not really sure what to do when the same guy who has helped us at Lowe's for the past year and a half goes, oh, you can just take everything out to your car, like pull the car up right here to the front and like hand me the gift card and I'll like scan it for you. Guys, he was the nicest person ever. So without paying, I head back out to the car, load the babies up, grab the thing. He comes out, grabs the gift card, scans it, brings it back out to me like so nice i'm so extremely grateful so then i drive back to walgreens i sit in this forever long line here at walgreens to get my prescription and um if i didn't already mention this i'm starting a breast infection and um i get a text from the pharmacy saying that they're out i was literally in the line 30 minutes ago and the guy said that they had it and now they're out and they can't get it in until Monday and I am in so much pain and they're like call the place next door well I called the place next door and they don't have it so as of right now I can't find the medicine but I have to get them to um like to give up my prescription so that somebody else can fill it well I called to talk to Walgreens to try to get them to release my prescription and they literally won't answer so i take maverick to chick-fil-a because he's now bawling he's ready to go to bed and i grab him some chicken nuggets and some french fries and now i'm sitting back in the walgreens line to talk to the guy because they won't answer their freaking phone but as of right now i currently do not have medicine so Stay tuned till the next video to figure out if we ever got this problem solved because I'm so irritated I just I don't feel good and I just need help I'm next. I'm next line. It's my turn. Okay. Bye everybody. Look at that a beautiful smoky sunset That is just unbelievable. So thankfully I think they've got it all under control so we're not too worried about it, but holy cow, it has just been billows and billows and billows of smoke all day. I made it home. They, the pharmacy could not get a hold of the other pharmacy, so they said they'll call again tomorrow. I'm just so frustrated. I mean, it was three hours of my day. Oh. So Crandall, luckily, he ran to Dollar General. He's gonna just pick us up a frozen pizza to have tonight for dinner. I'm right here feeding the twins. Maverick is right there. He's eating some cheese and crackers. Um, this is like a bedtime snack. He's already had his dinner. And then um, we're watching some <laughs> Red Bull Rampage. <laughs> so, can you say goodnight, Mav? Hi. Oh, show everybody your trick. Oh. He's just jumping into the pillows. Do you like the pillows? Oh, Maverick Daddy's home. Yeah. Yeah. I told Maverick that Daddy would cuddle with him before he goes to bed. Huh? You wanted Daddy to hold you, huh? Yeah. You sweet boy. Oh, Kendall, my lunch room looks so good. So much better, right? Let me show you guys. Dun, 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 dun. We actually... I have to pick up some of the pieces so my work doesn't walk on them. Yeah. Literally, there's one piece. The one crucial starting piece is as far as we got. Because as you guys saw, <laughs> Wait, is that I don't have the trowel. Well, no, it's not glued down, but that is where it goes. Oh, well, he walked on it. What if he moved it? I can, it's, it's, I can remove it. It's oh. just, yeah, it's got lines drawn on it. Oh. So, today's video did not go anything like it was planned to go. No, today's, today. Did it yes, go yes. how it was supposed to? Not just the video, but like life in general was just. It was a whirlwind, to off. say the least. Off. Yeah, <laughs> it was crazy. We had the fire stuff. We were worried that that was going to come over here. We had Mar all of Marcy's running around town. Me not having the tool that I thought I had to do the floor. It just was. It was crazy. The one thing that we did get accomplished, though, was I won't look too hard for the, the window tool because I feel like I could actually find it. No, 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 no. Are no, you no. sure? <laughs> yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Our next video should be the floor. If we don't run into any other hiccups, it was funny. I read a comment from one of you guys the other day, and it was like, 
Uh, so excited to see the floor. Hopefully you don't run into any more hiccups. I was like, wow, you definitely jinxed us. <laughs> so, hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.